What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. You know the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. You know the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. straight into reading our scripture this morning. I'm going to be coming from Psalm 34, verses 1 through, amen, amen, 1 through, amen, amen, and it reads, amen, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, Lord. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My Lord, my Lord. My soul shall make his boast. In the Lord, right. and the humble shall hear thereof and yes. be glad. My Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Yes, I sought the Lord, and he heard me, That's and right. delivered me from all my fear. Thou look unto him where lightning, and their face was not ashamed. Oh, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard yes, him, and saved him out of all of his trouble. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them yes. that fear him Thank and you. deliver them. Uh -huh. Oh, taste and see uh -huh. that the Lord is good. good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Uh -huh. Oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, yes. for there is no want to them that fear him. Uh -huh. And read Psalm 34, 1 through verses 9. May the Lord have blessed to the reading of his word. Amen, amen. He is so good and so worthy amen. to be praised. Amen. amen. And we thank you this morning. Amen. 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 We look forward to this new year and what that's about to bring for Fresh Start Ministry. The new adventure that the Lord is about to take us on. Amen. And we are excited about it. Amen. And if you'd like to be part of this, this vision that God has given to our bishop, Bishop Wayne Blackwell, we ask that you partner up with us, amen, and join us on this adventure that we're about to endeavor with the Lord, amen, amen. If you would like to partner up with us, amen, it's Cash Air, Fresh Start Ministry, 1-1, one, one. amen, and let us go and see what God has in store 
for us for 2022. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is so good in that. Amen. At this time, I'm going to bring forth our bishop. Amen. The man of God. Amen. One that don't mind preaching the word of God. Amen. The one that stand on the word of God. Praise God. The one who he loved the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for him. Amen. And we love him. Amen. And at this time, I want to bring forth no other than Bishop Wayne Blackwell. Amen. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise. Hallelujah. For he alone is worthy to be praised. Amen. Can't nobody do you're like Jesus. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. You enjoy that song. Amen. From Amen in the First Lady Evangelist Patty Blackwell. Amen. Praise God. And, and we just thank God, Amen, for those that I, Amen was backing up. Amen. In the singing and Amen. I right along with them. Amen. Praise God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. And, and if you know he's a mighty God, Amen. You can look back and see where you are right now. Amen. In the second day, Amen, of the new year. And so we serve a mighty Mighty God. Somebody say that the angels, y'all ain't heaven in heaven, uh -huh, the angels bow before him and, yes. and heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And, and then the songwriter say, Take nobody. Yes. Mean, do me like Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about, I don't know whether or not you have tried him. Amen. If you tried him, amen, you can have the same testimony. Yes. Amen. Praise God. That can't nobody do you like the Lord. Yes. Amen. I tried him. Amen. I tried other things. And, I tried other people and I tried amen praise God but I found out can't nobody, nobody. No, mm -hmm. do me like Jesus yes. he, uh -huh. he's more than a friend he's yes. my savior he's my he's my redeemer he is my, he is my very present help in the time of trouble yes. he, he is my strong tower yes. he is my battle act he, he is the joy of my salvation yes. mm -hmm. and every now and again when I think of the goodness of Jesus yes. y'all ain't helping me mm -hmm. right. and all all he done for me, yes. my soul cry out, God help me Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah to my Savior yes. for saving and me, and so we honor the Lord and, and we thank God, amen, for, amen, praise God for you and you, amen, praise God that are here and, and you that are joining us, amen, praise God on this afternoon live streaming here at Fresh Start Ministry, amen, we thank God, amen, for what our, uh, what my eyes have seen this yes. morning and, and what my my ears have heard, yes. amen, through the preaching and teaching, amen, this morning that I received, amen, praise God, I, I had the opportunity, amen, to stop at the restaurant at the uh, Prince of Peace Church of the Apostolic Faith, yes. amen, praise God, and, amen, with a powerful word, a powerful message coming from, amen, praise God, the Pastor JT, amen, praise yes. God, amen, praise God, we claim, amen, thank God, amen, that just that just give me, amen, amen, praise God, a witness of where I'm coming from, amen, yeah. on this afternoon. And then, amen, praise God, but when I got through eating there, amen, I was satisfied. Y'all right, didn't have to right. It's sad when you can go to a restaurant and, 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 amen, praise God, and sit down and eat and wasn't satisfied. Mm -hmm. right. But when I left there, I was satisfied. Mm -hmm. right. And while I was on my way back to the house, mm -hmm, I, 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 I saw believers search of Jesus Christ. Right. Right. Amen. I just stopped there, amen, and, 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 and walked on in there, and I, I saw this great man of God sitting behind the desk, and yeah. I, amen, he was teaching and preaching on faith, y'all ain't got to be, amen, praise God, and, and don't worry about it, amen, I didn't visit some of you too, mm -hmm. yeah. but they happened to be, amen, praise God, in my direction this morning, I, I, I didn't visit some of you last week, and you probably didn't even know it, but it's all right, yeah. I, I'm going to visit you again, but this morning, I, I stop at those two locations yeah. that, that use the route that I usually take. Mm -hmm. But now, uh -huh, I'm yeah. in my own house. Oh, I, 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 I feel like preaching this yeah. thing already. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm in my own house. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Praise God. And, and there's some folks here saying, uh, we didn't get nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's some folks uh -huh, out there that are live screaming at us. Uh -huh. You probably seen yourself, I got up a little too late. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And then when I got up, amen. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't hungry, but now I'm hungry. Huh? And to those who think I'm talking about the natural food, huh? 
I'm talking about that spiritual fool. Y'all ain't having me, huh? Because I done connected with some folks that are on a consecration, huh? And I done hooked up with them, huh? Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus, huh? And I'm going to go every step of the way, huh? Oh, God, on this consecration, huh? Because at the other side of it, huh? Oh, God, I already know we got the victory. Mm -hmm. Somebody shout glory. So, so we honor the Lord this morning. Amen. Praise God for, for my covering, Apostle Harrod. And, and we honor, amen, all the men and women and servants of the Lord. And, and we want to say welcome here at Fresh Start Ministry. I, I thank God, amen, for the first year of kicking off. Mm -hmm. yeah. On this first Sunday, amen, amen, of this new year, amen. How my, 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 my wife has been able to step in and say, I've got the show on this one. I said, okay, mm -hmm. it's yours, uh -huh. it's yours, baby. I'm going to let go and, and let you have it. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. but, but now the introduction has already been, 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 been going forward. Eh? And if you have your Bible, mm -hmm, turn with me to Colossians chapter number 3. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then I want you to put a marker there. Mm -hmm. And I want you to follow me to Psalm 119. Eh? Oh, God, I thank you, Jesus. Eh? I feel a tug up in here. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how I am. Uh -huh. When I didn't get so much in me, mm -hmm. it got to come out. Mm. I don't know if any of y'all preachers like that, but, but when you don't get so much in you, huh? and you can't get no more in you, huh? it's time to release the bowel pressure huh? and let some of it out. Huh? Because what inside of you huh? is like a well of water huh? and it needs to spring up in the everlasting life, huh? in the life that is in right now, huh? that it may flow up out of you huh? and flow in the ears of somebody else, huh? that they may hear what the spirit of me have to say unto them. Uh, somebody said, please be well. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I thank you. So, and so that's Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. And that is Psalm 119. And, and since song is so long, you might well go ahead and, and turn on. Uh -huh. yeah, it is over right here for one second. Uh, let, let, let's go to Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh God, I thank you. Oh, oh God, I thank you. Ain't the Lord all right? Mm -hmm. Lord. Somebody give God a praise. Mm -hmm. Won't you give a praise like you made it? Mm -hmm. We serve a mighty God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I thank you, Jesus. Let, let's look at the text. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's Colossians. Oh God, thank you. Mm -hmm. Colossians chapter number three. Mm -hmm. And if you look down to verse number ten. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, and I want you to follow me if you will. And it reads, uh, and I, uh, 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 let me see, uh, uh, oh, wait a minute, uh, let me get my stuff, oh, okay, we got it, mm -hmm. and it reads like this, and it says, and have, and have put on the new man. Yeah. Which is renewing knowledge after the image of him that created him. Mm -hmm. Somebody say him. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, uh, circumcision nor uncircumcision, Barnabas, citizen, and bond uh, nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Somebody shout all. Mm -hmm. oh. But all, but put on therefore, put on therefore as the elect of God, uh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness. Is humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbear one another, and forgiving one another. Mm -hmm. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgive you, so also do ye. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're gonna look at verse uh, verse fourteen and then seventeen on down. And above all these things, put on charity, uh -huh, which is the bond of perfectness, uh, and let the Peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and ye be thank and be ye thankful. Mm -hmm. Verse sixteen: Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts. Uh, to the Lord. Yeah. Verse 17, and we'll, we'll, we'll leave there and go to Psalm. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Can we say amen? amen. Mm -hmm. And amen. If you put a marker there, let's go and travel. Amen to the Old Testament to the book of Psalms. 
Amen. Amen. And here's Psalm 119. And if you would just gaze with me, amen, down to verse 129. Mm -hmm. We're going to start reading the verse 29 and it reads something like this. Mm -hmm. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore do my soul keep them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The essence of thy words give it light. Mm -hmm. That's Psalm 119 and verse 129. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Thy testimonies are wonderful. Therefore do my soul keep them. Mm -hmm. The issues of thy word give it light. Mm -hmm. uh, it give it understanding to the simple. Uh -huh. Open my mouth. Uh -huh. Open my mouth and pay. For I long for thy commandments. Mm -hmm. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me. Mm -hmm. As thou used to do unto those that love thy name. Order my step in thy word mm -hmm. and let not any iniquity have dominion over me mm -hmm. deliver me from the oppression of man mm -hmm. so will I keep thy precept mm -hmm. make thy face to shine upon thy servant mm -hmm. and teach me thy status mm -hmm. rivers of water run down my eyes mm -hmm. oh God because they kept not thy law can we say amen amen uh, let the words of my mouth be preached unto the ears of those who have an ear to hear what the Holy Spirit is leading me to say. Help me to let that light shine in me, that others may see the light. Hear the sound of the trumpet, prepare themselves for battle, that the victory may come. I didn't say just one victory, but that the victories may come. We're going to have some challenges this year, y'all. All right. Those challenges are going to be battles. My prayer is that the victory and the victories may come one after another. And that they may come through your spoken word, Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in your name we pray. Somebody shout glory. Glory. And somebody glory. shout amen. 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 I want to take the opportunity out this morning, just for a little, or just, or just an afternoon, uh, just for a little while. A little while. You know me, I keep saying a little while. Yeah, no. uh, you know how bitch it is. It's a little while. It seems like a little longer than a little while. But if you would help me preach, I believe we can get this thing done faster than we used to. Yeah. Uh, I want you to put this subject on the line of your mind. And I want you to hold on to it. It might not sound like anything to anybody, but uh, you get to you get to understand. It as we go by and by in this message. Yeah, yeah. And if you would help me, you would just look at somebody and say, say neighbor, neighbor. Uh, we got some battles that are still facing us. We got some uh, battles that are still facing us. Uh, and I want you to understand, neighbor, that they, we, we got to still keep the hold on our own, but, but even we got to keep the hold on our own, it's a, it's a reason why, uh, because the battle. Uh, it's still going on. So, so if you just help me tell somebody and say, neighbor, word up. Neighbor, word, word up. up. We have some battles to fight ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it right there. That's it right there. It might not sound like nothing right now, but, but look at somebody again and say, neighbor, word up. We have some word battles up. to fight ahead of us. Oh, God, I thank you. For the third time, let me say it again. Word up. We have some battles to fight against, oh God, huh? that is ahead of us that's going to be against us. we got some battles to fight. So you might well worry up. Well, I'm yeah. trying to tell you, you might well dress up. You might well yeah. dress up in the word. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody, because we got some battles that we still got to fight up, yeah. up ahead of us. 
blessing. So we thank God. Amen. Praise God. And so, and so my brothers, I, I wish I could give you something more. Mm -hmm. I wish I could give you something more than what you have already read and, and heard along with me. And, and I am one to say that, that it was a great pleasure of you uh, for us reading it together. And, yeah. and you know how it is when something is done together. Together as one, yeah. being unified, a uh, unified body, uh -huh, and, and being on one accord, and, yeah. and being on uh, one Lord, and of uh, one faith, and of uh, one baptism, man. And, and it's all done yeah. in that one name. One somebody name. somebody say one name. Uh -huh. one name. Why his name? Glad you had. Mm -hmm. According to Acts chapter 4, amen, verse 12. Mm -hmm. It tells us why. Can I tell it? Mm -hmm. right. Neither is there salvation in any other. Mm -hmm. But there is no other name under heaven given unto men mm -hmm. where we might be saved. Huh? That's the Bible way. Somebody yeah. says it's the Bible way. Huh? Yeah. And if uh, the Bible said it, I believe it. Huh? Yeah. I accepted it uh, for a way of having eternal life uh, and a way of living in this life right now. Uh, it's a shame, Evangelist Betty, mm -hmm, right. to see so many that are in the condition that I was in. Uh, yeah. A condition that where uh, you are wrestling with a force uh, that does not want you to walk worthy of the vocation where, where Christ Jesus has set you free. Uh, that thing about freedom, you got to understand understand my brothers and sisters uh, the thing about freedom is uh, is that once you once you're free uh, uh, once you are free uh, uh, you better guide your freedom uh. somebody say guide your freedom brother uh, guide your freedom sister uh. oh yes sir you better guide your freedom in, in 2022 uh. oh god I thank you because why your freedom is at stake too uh. somebody shout glory uh. why become one of the sons that free uh, it's free indeed. Uh. Oh, help me preach this thing when it goes. God, you got to guide your freedom. Uh. It is the most important thing. Uh. And it should be at the top of your list. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. And nobody can take that away from you. Uh. Why? Because uh, it was the Lord Jesus set you free. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. Nobody can take that away from you. Uh. Why don't you look at your neighbor and say, nobody can take it from me. Uh. Oh God, I thank you. Huh? It ain't like what the world gives you. Huh? I, heard, I heard the statement saying, huh? the world huh? didn't give me this freedom. Huh? And the world can't take it away. Huh? Can I preach like I feel? Huh? Somebody shout glory. Huh? I'm so glad that there's no other way. Huh? And there is no other name. Huh? Oh God, I thank you, Jesus. Huh? I thank you. Because I got to guide my freedom, huh? and that freedom is at the top of my list. Huh? And I thank God I got to cut it. Huh? I got to fight it. Huh? Oh, help me preach the thing. Huh? Somebody said, preach pretty well. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, help me up in here. Mm -hmm. And so, my brothers and sisters, huh? the thing about freedom is, huh? is that once you free, huh? you got to guide that freedom, huh? and you got to protect it. Huh? Because it was given to you, huh? oh God, to walk around, huh? oh God, under the protection, huh? oh God, in the freedom huh? of the one that set you free, huh? how you protected huh? is up to you, mm -hmm. and if you don't let another take it from you, huh? that's, that's up to you, huh? if the freedom you had huh? and the freedom you have received huh? is not working out for you, huh? oh God, I got to get out of here, huh? and you decide that you want to be you want to return back to slavery huh? oh, God, am I selling you yourself uh, I'm selling yourself back to the one who had you in bondage before huh? oh God I got to preach like a preaching huh? but I want you to understand him huh? I don't uh, I don't want to sound like a broken record huh? but that is uh, that is still up to you huh? oh how you gonna exercise huh? and how you gonna have your freedom, huh? oh God, hallelujah! Huh? Why don't you take your finger and point at your heart huh? and say, "I'm God in my freedom." Huh? Somebody shout glory! Huh? 
shout glory again. You got to guide your freedom. And you got to shake it out. You got to guide it. Oh God, hallelujah. Until the day dawn, the day dawn start arising. You got to guide it and fight my brother. You got to guide it and fight my sister. Oh God, you got to fight. Oh God, and when, and when you're done decided to go to fight. Oh God, because the freedom that you have received, it calls a man, it calls him a pretty price. And he got to pay that price for the sin of the whole wide world. The Lord have mercy. He was willing and able to come down from heaven on high to an earthly place that is full of sin. Somebody shout glory. Oh God, I gotta get out of there. And so my brothers and sisters, it's still up to you and I. Oh God, the whole on the cling to that freedom. We got it because of the blood. Oh God, hallelujah. It was through his blood that was shared on Calvary Hill. It was that blood, Daddy, that made us free. It was that blood, Sister Green. It was that blood, Sister Foot. It was that blood, it was that blood, it was that blood, oh God, that kept us in the midst of our pandemic, oh God, that is still going over, but I'm so glad that ain't nothing to keep us, but the blood of Jesus, it kept us in 21, it is that same blood, Lord, have mercy. That we are depending on in 2022. I heard I heard the song like a slaver. Say not only the blood can wash away you, but that blood is a protector. It'll protect you. Somebody shout glory. Go and put the sickness of our hands together. And give God a faith. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Try to give him a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. He's sitting up over there. Hallelujah. You know you need to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Praise comes through deliverance. Yes, sir. Praise comes through healing. Hallelujah. Praise comes from being set free. Oh, let me get out of here. So let me how you know that. Because the writer said that. He dwells in the midst of praise. And somebody shout glory. And he said, If I be lifted up, I'll draw all men under me. Look what he does some of us. He draws some of us. I got out of the hell hole. He draws some of us out of the poor. He draws some of us out of the nightclub. He draws some of us out of the streets. Of the bare prison, what kind of God we serve? He serve a God that has drawing power. Somebody shout glory, and if you're stuck in the pit, if you're stuck in the dungeon, if you're locked in and can't get out, I know a man. He said it all. So my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, God, uh, God that freedom, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, and when, uh, and when they tell you, uh, uh, they try to convince you uh, to sell your freedom back, uh, look at them uh, and say, not for sale, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, you tell them, uh, I'm already sold out uh, to the demon. Uh, who is my kinsman? I'm sold out. He bought me all. One day, I was just like Ruth. I was green. Right on the edge of the field. Wow. They were getting all the good stuff. But I was red. I was allowed to green. Right on the field. Oh, God, I thank you. But one day, 
the cavemen came by. One day, the cavemen said, I'll give you an invitation to come to my house. And when you get to my house, all you got to do is knock on the door. And if I hear your nose, I'm going to open the door. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you. It's on my brothers. Yeah. It's on my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Like I said earlier, yeah. I don't know yeah. if this is what yeah. you may expect from me today. Yeah. Yeah. But I can also tell you yeah. Yeah. that if you're not expecting anything, yeah. Yeah. and as a servant of the Lord, yeah. I come before you today yeah. as a man with a trumpet. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ain't here, man. I come as a trumpet today. Uh, uh, who is the sound alarm? Oh, uh, God. I come to sound alarm, yo. But I don't need your help. Uh, I know you say we still, uh, we still celebrate Jesus. Uh, and we still celebrate the New Year. Uh, and it's all right with me. Uh, but I want you to understand something. Uh, you better keep your eyes on the prize. Because uh, we are still in a war. Uh, we are still got some battles uh, that is up the head of us. Uh, and the same God uh, that brought us through the battles uh, of 2021. Uh, it is the same God uh, that is going to bring us through the battles uh, in 2022. Uh, somebody shout I'm so glad that I'm gonna stay in the battle. Why don't you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, stay in the battle. Oh, neighbor, I need you to stay in the battle. And the real wise, you're still in the battle. Because we got some fighting to do. Some fighting up the head of us. And I come to sound the alarm. But we got to fight. We got to still fight for our family. We got to still fight for our spouse. We got to still fight for our children. We got to still fight for our ministry. We got to still fight for the church. Oh, we got to still fight for those. Oh God, that are in a covenant relationship with us. Huh? We got to fight for one another. We got to fight for our brother. Huh? We got to fight for our sister. Huh? Somebody shout glory. Huh? Is there any fighter in here? Huh? If you are a fighter, huh? won't you lift your soul up huh? and say, I'm a fighter. Huh? And I don't mind fighting. Huh? But Brother Blackwell, huh? If you're calling, uh, you're calling for a war cry. Uh, for the blood hell, uh, if you're sounding an alarm, uh, there must be something uh, that are going on uh, in the neck of your world. Uh, oh, for the blood hell, uh, if you're sounding, uh, if you're sounding the war cry, uh, I want you to know uh, we are fighters. Uh, And if you see that the Lord is sounding loud in the neck of your wolves, in the neck of your territory, that must be to let us know, Blackwell, that the enemy is moving on your territory. The things that you claim at the COVID in 2021, that you came to recover it all, and you came to get back more. Lord have mercy. That was in 2021. He had refreshed himself. He had gotten him some more help. He had hooked up with other allies. But I, I heard, I heard the Bible said, He said, They that call upon the Lord, He shall. Somebody said, He will. He will do your And so, my brother. 
all you sisters are up. This is a war cry. Uh, and I'm crying out uh, because I need your help. Uh, to help me fight. Uh, to do for the free. Uh, and to live home. Uh, or be put alive. Uh, oh, God help me help. Uh, and so my brothers and sisters, uh, I'm calling you up this morning. Uh, and I'm sounding the alarm. Uh, you got to put on uh, the whole arm of God. Yes, sir. Oh, no. When you feel the glory, give it to the Lord. 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 Give it to the Lord
me your booty back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, just stop the hoop. Yeah. Let me say it again. Yeah. If you feel the glory, yeah. give him the glory back. Because he wants the glory back. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Too many people. Yeah. He give us the glory. Yeah. And we don't want to give it back to him. Yeah. Oh, somebody shout glory. Yeah. Glory. Glory, glory. Mm -hmm. It's that faith that we got in him. Huh? Mm -hmm. As we move from faith to faith, huh? we move it from glory to glory. Yeah. Huh? Oh, God, I thank you. Huh? But my brothers and sisters, huh? this is a serious matter. Because huh? we got some folks in our family. Huh? We got some loved ones in our family. Huh? Oh, God, hallelujah. Huh? And sin huh? has bound them. Huh? And they're still locked up huh? in their mind, huh? in their heart. Huh? They're locked down. I huh? stuck in battle. Huh? Yeah. They're battled in lockdown. Huh? And the devil got them on lockdown. Huh? Yeah. And even though we're still celebrating, huh? we are still celebrating. Huh? Even on the day, huh? the second day of the new year. Huh? And God wants us to worship him. Huh? Yeah. And God wants us to praise him. Huh? Yeah. But we cannot forget huh? the others that are still in bondage, huh? yeah. that cross over with us, huh? but they still huh? are in bondage, in, huh? oh God, in the mind and heart. Huh? Yeah. And God told me, huh? he said, Blackwell, tell them huh? that we got to set, huh? yeah. they got to get together, huh? and we got to go to battle, huh? yeah. because there is a demon, huh? that is a drug, a demon. And he's having it. He's having his fun today. He got even some of the Christian folks. He got them locked down in their mind. He got them locked down in their heart. And they're still, they're still making their way to the church. They're still looking at live screaming. And they're still quoting scripture. And they're still trying to encourage folks. But they ain't got no deliverance themselves. They're trying to hope. That God will smile on them huh? and let them have a blessing. Huh? But my baby, my friend, huh? Blackwell, tell me to tell you huh? that it don't work like that. Huh? You got to be in Christ huh? and you got to stay in Christ. Huh? You can't be one with the other. Huh? You got to be in Him huh? and you got to stay in Him. Huh? Because when you stay in Him, huh? Lord have mercy, huh? He'll let you know. Huh? That when the wicked uh, and even your enemy, uh, when they come up against you uh, to eat up your flesh, uh, he'll make them stumble uh, and he'll make them fall. Uh. Somebody shout glory. Uh. I got a witness out there. Uh -huh. Is there anybody uh, at the enemy that came up uh, upon you in 2021? Uh, and God, uh, he raised up a standard uh, up against your enemy. Uh, they might have came in one way, yeah. but when you look, uh, lo and behold, uh, they find seven ways uh, to get the heaven out of there. Uh, because wherever uh, the spirit of the Lord is, uh, there is liberty. Uh, somebody shall glory. Uh, so my friend, uh, here's the wall cry. Uh, and I want you to know, uh, I heard uh, that many of you are going through, uh, oh God, some things. Uh, so I want you to wait up. We have a we have some battles to fight for families who need our help. It might not be your daughter. It might not be your son. It might not be your mother. It might not be your father. A rather a friend. Lord have mercy. But I want you to know that there's a soul in that body that needs to be delivered. So God tell me to tell you, uh, word up, uh, from the whole arm of God, uh, that you may be able uh, to withstand the wall of the devil, uh, put on uh, the helmet of salvation, uh, put on uh, the breath of your life, uh, go to your ways, uh, oh God, the truth, uh, oh, uh, 
tear your feet uh, with the preparation of the gospel peace. Uh, take the shield of faith uh, and quench all uh, the fire and dust uh, of the enemy. Uh, and my brother, uh, take the sword. Uh, somebody shall grow. Uh, take the sword uh, of the spirit, uh, which is the word uh, of God. Uh, and uh, while your faith uh, is sealing off uh, your fighting God, uh, your soul, uh, you start cutting uh, left and right. Uh, Cause the writer said uh, in Hebrew 4 and 12 uh, that the word of God uh, is quick, uh, is powerful, uh, is sharper uh, than the two and so. Uh, so my friend, uh, right up. Uh, we have have some battles to fight ahead of us. Yeah. Well, up, my friend. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Put on. Yeah. Love. Yeah. Put on, my friend. Yeah. Oh, God, I thank you. Yeah. Put it on. Yeah. We're going to need it. Yeah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Yeah. Because love going to see me left together. Yeah. And we got to put on. Yeah. Well, up, y'all. Yeah. And now I'm closing. Yeah. But in my closing, yeah. let me give you. Yeah. Some bullets, uh, some ammunition uh, to put in uh, your gun. Uh, oh God, because we go going to battle. Uh, Luke 11 uh, and 21. Uh, when a strong man uh, on the campus palace, uh, it's good or in peace. Uh, and that's what the enemy trying to do. Uh, he's trying to stir up the good. Uh, oh, and the peace. Uh, yes, it does. Uh, 22 uh, and 2 and 3. If a thief be found breaking, breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. But hold on now. If the sun be rise upon him, there shall be blood shed for him. For he should make a full restitution if he had nothing. Then he shall be sold huh, for thief huh, because he break in. Huh, oh, God, the house. Huh, oh, trying to break in this strong man house. Huh, Luke 22. Huh, here's a bullet. Huh, verse 36. Huh, then say here to them. Huh, but now huh, he that have a purse, huh, let him take it. Huh, and likewise his strip. Huh, and he that have no sword. Huh, let us sell this garment here and buy one here. If you ain't got your sword here, go buy one here. Yeah. And let me tell you today, you ain't got to buy here. Just go in here. Somebody shall glory here. First Timothy, oh God, five here. Around verse here. Oh, verse number eight here. But if any provide not here, oh, for his own here. Especially for doing. Of his own house, he has denied the faith, and it's worse than an infidel. Well, my brother and my sister, many think that just that means just buying food and sheltering somebody and giving them clothes and taking care of them in the house. That's your responsibility. That's the duty of a man. That's the duty of a woman. That's the duty of a child. Uh -huh. uh, come on, somebody. So that's the All duty. Right. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's a call of duty. So, and so therefore, it must be done. And so, and so we understand that it must be done. So, so we ought to provide for one another. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you are the provider, uh, you got to understand you are the protector too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Oh, God, I thank you. Uh, don't just provide for me. Uh, and don't protect me. Uh, I'm not just going to provide for Betty. Don't take protect her. Uh, oh, come on, somebody. Uh, right. Oh, God, I thank you. Uh, because the God that we serve, he's more than just a giver of things. Uh, he also, oh, God, a protector. Uh, one writer says he's very present help uh, in a time of trouble. Uh, yeah. One writer says he's a buckler and a shield. Uh, one writer says he, he's a battle ass. Uh, yeah. 
hide. Oh God, if, if you want to hide you, uh, the same writer said, uh, if you're looking for me, uh, he hit me under the shadow uh, of his wing. I got to get out of here. Uh, and so brothers, uh, it is our duty. Uh, oh God, to not only to provide, uh, but to protect. Uh, we ought to be uh, better than police officers. Uh, I'm sorry about it, police officer, uh, but we ought to be better than some of the police officers. We got some good ones out there. Uh, and if I had my hat on, I'll take it off to you. Uh, and in case somebody say, you brown nose in it, uh, but I don't care what you say about me. Uh, I'll take my hat off to you, Commissioner Baltimore, uh, because I believe you're doing some good things. Uh, and I believe there's still some good things that are still left in you. Uh, but when there's authority over you, uh, you can't go but so far uh, and submit to that authority. Uh, but I I know a man that can go over your boy. You can go over your boss head, and you can talk to that man. And that man, he got the power to change it around. And I don't know about you on this afternoon, but we serve a God that got the power, oh God, to change things around. So my brothers and sisters, I'm calling on you to help me with the same power that He gave you uh, because right now uh, it was all right with me while I was handling the thousands uh, that was even 21 uh, but now uh, it's 10,000 that come up against me uh, and I need some help uh, because if one can change a thousand uh, and two can put 10,000 to fight uh, then we can get the ball rolling uh, and we can get the victory uh, as we go from house to house uh, as we break bread with one another uh, even here on live stream uh, but we're gonna win this thing uh, we're gonna defeat the purpose uh, that this pandemic thought it had us locked down uh, but we still gotta praise uh, because there's a war cry uh, that is still on the inside uh, and I heard Jesus said uh, that if my people uh, that are called by my name uh, if they will humble themselves uh, and if they would pray uh, and if they will see my face, uh, and if they will pray and turn from their wicked way, uh, I'll hear from heaven, uh, I'll forgive their sin, uh, I'll heal the land. Uh, somebody shout glory. Uh, so my friend, uh, I want you to know, uh, I appreciate you uh, in 2021, uh, and I thank you so much. Uh, but now, uh, we got to almost uh, forget those things that are behind uh, because what is in front of us uh, is a precious thing. Uh, and I heard Paul say uh, that we got to press uh, toward the mark uh, of the high calling uh, that is through Christ Jesus. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, we can get there. Uh, tell your neighbor uh, as a matter of fact uh, we're already there. Uh, somebody said wait a minute huh? you ain't no prophet uh, but I got a tongue uh, that can prophesy uh, that said uh, that we're already said it uh, in heavenly places uh, right now in Christ Jesus uh, somebody show glory uh, look at your names and name uh, what up uh, uh, we got some battles to fight ahead of us what up what up neighbor Word up. Word up. Just up. Word up. We got some battles. Ain't no secret. It ain't no secret that we got some battles ahead of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I took that from my my brother, Prophet Roman. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got some battles ahead of us. And my brothers and sisters, we still can celebrate. Oh, God knows, yes, we can. Because why? We celebrate a God uh -huh, that has not lost one victory. We celebrate a God that has not lost a fight. We celebrate a God that has not lost a defeat. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Now, they thought they had him at the cross, but <laughs> uh, that was, uh, how would you call that thing? It was a mirage. But it was one that was visible. 
But to the spiritual world, it was one that was a mirage. Because all they could see was the, uh -huh, all they know that, uh, that that body that was there, they thought it was going to be there with the rest of the bodies and the bones and uh, come on somebody and everything else. Yeah. But what they find early Sunday morning was only a napkin and, and the garment he was wearing. Tell somebody he got a new garment. And see, you see, see, that's what we got to understand something. We done trans, we done transist from 21 to 22. Uh huh. Come on, somebody. And that thought of you feel, so much feel to realize and understand. You can't be walking up under that same anointing. You need some fresh anointing. And the hour of the day that we're living in now, you need to be anointed every day. David in, in Psalm 23, he, he, he knew that the Lord was not only a shepherd that was leading him and guiding him, but he knew that if, if he would just do this for me, anoint my head with all, that my cup may run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all through the days of my life. Let me tell you something. He wanted God to anoint his head with all. Why the head to be anointed with all? Because it is the head that receives the information. It is the head that has the ear to hear what the spirit has to say. It is the head that has the mouth to speak those things that are not, that if they are. It is the head that has the tongue of power of life and death in it. And what you speak out of your mouth, amen, will, will cause you to stay in the condition that you're in. Or it can cause you to come out of somebody. See, see, stop letting folks speak things over your life and accept what they say. Because if you can't find it in the Word, and, and, and if they speak something over your life, and it is true, ain't number one thing to do, buckle down and get yourself together and get it right. Because if you don't get it right now, I'm afraid that there are going to be many that is not going to make it. Right. Even this year. And I'm not talking about the pandemic wiping it out or the, or the coronavirus. Uh, my prayer touching the green with, with thousands and thousands of you that God will lift this thing, that we can come back into the house of fellowship, amen, and breaking bread from house to house. It ain't nothing like fellowship. There's nothing wrong with live streaming and having a live stream audience. And let me tell you something, I appreciate you. But ain't nothing like seeing you face to face. Oh God, I thank you. I thank God for the few that be here with us and, and the few on this Sunday and even the few out there tuning in. But let me tell you, Sarah, if we, I'm afraid, if we, can, listen, if, if, if this live stream keep going on and on, I'm afraid that this is God's way of his 144,000 getting ready to come back because the gospel is going out all through the world. There is not a place just about in this world that does not have activity to a cell phone, Google Pay, Google, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all of those things. Technology is putting it out there. And to those that who, who say that technology is of the devil, well, you keep on saying it. God works in mysterious ways. And the thing about it is that he's using even evil men to carry out his plan. My brothers and sisters, this is a war cry. I'm sorry that it may not be a message, amen, that you're looking for. Amen. I could tell you that we're going to have, uh, we're going to have it easy. I could tell you everything going to be all right. I could come and tell you, amen, blessings is coming our way. And, and it is true. But it's up to us to, uh, to fight for those blessings. Because the thing is that you, we got to fight for our freedom. Because once you're bound, once you're bound, you have no freedom. And you won't be able to exercise the God-given right that he gave you. That there will be no good thing you withhold from them that walk of life. You cannot walk aright before the Lord if you are bound and in bondage. And there are those that are hearing me right now before we take communion. There are those that are hearing me right now. You know who you are. And I'm not just speaking, amen, to those that are not saved. I'm not just speaking to those that are not saved. I'm speaking to those that are right now, even in the church, because even in the body of Christ, because there are many that in the body of Christ don't even know that they're in a backsliding state. 
Oh yeah, they love the Lord. Oh yes, they do. They love the Lord. They sing about Him. They listen to Him. They watch Him live stream. They watch preach the preacher preach. They watch everything. They even know some of the scripture, but they're still bound by a force that won't let them go in their mind. And I told you the other day that God wants wholesomeness. He don't want part of us. He wants all of us. And that's what we need to challenge ourselves on even as today. How much of you giving yourself to God for a transition in your life? How much have you given yourself up for God for a conversion state to start so that you can be converted so that you can strengthen somebody else? I know many ain't going to like this, but I want you to understand something. I used to look for a message that people would love and accept. He said, man, he preached a good message. And then at the end of the day, they ain't got nothing out of it. But I'm giving you something that I know going to stay with you. Because I thank God that it's staying with me. And if somebody didn't give it to me, and if the Holy Spirit, Spirit didn't spoke to me and said, that's the truth right there. If you live by this, you'll be set free from that. Let me say it again. And when the Holy Spirit spoke to me, it said, if you live by this word, You'll be delivered from that thing. Somebody ought to shout glory. But when you get in order to live by that word, you got to submit to that word. It's going to be hard. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care what nobody say. They tell you, oh, just come to the altar, repent, and everything going to be all right. No, let me tell you something. Repent is a, mm, it's a process. Amen. You don't just say it. Amen. When you repent and say, Lord, forgive me for that thing and give me the strength and the power to overcome. When you get up, he immediately doing it. But when you get up, it is up to you to immediately walk in that obedience. Did I say something that hurt your feeling? Well, hurt your feeling and your feeling shall be hurt. Because you're not going to get saved off a of feeling. You're going to get saved off the truth. Because the truth shall set you free. And that's the only thing. Going to allow you to have freedom. And the peace to go with that freedom. My brothers and sisters, first now I'm saying to those that don't know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sin, on the second day, the first Sunday of the year, it can be a fresh start for you. It can be a fresh start for you right now. Those that are in the backsliding state right now, Amen. You, you, you know what? You, you listen. You know you in a backside state, and ain't nobody got to point their finger at you and let you know what kind of state you in. Nobody. Nobody. But I want you to know this: that he said, "I'm still married to the backslider." And then there are those. Come on, somebody. There are those. Amen. Praise God that you know for a fact. That you're in a lukewarm state. And my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that is one of the hardest states. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you that's another hard thing to do. That is one of the hardest states to break away from. Because when you're, on a, when, you're in a, when you're in a lukewarm state, you don't even know what's right or what's wrong. Then let me, let me reiterate that. Let me say, when you're in a lukewarm state, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. But you choose to do only a little of the right, but more of the wrong. And you know you're in that state. You know you you know you're in that state, amen, when you putting your mouth on people and you talking about people and you lying on people and you saying all kinds of things against one another. You know what state you're in. And I don't care if you say you on the phone and say, man, uh, listen, let me tell you, that cell phone can be a blessing. For, for, for that cell phone can be a blessing for the person who's on the other end of it, or it can be a cursing. And one thing I've learned, you got to be careful on these phones today, because people will record you and your conversation and use it as a weapon against you. My brother and sisters, it's a war cry. The enemy is still at large, and I'm not backing down. And I'm not sad if you're looking at me and say, oh, poor little thing. Listen, let me tell you something. I got more spunk in me. Otherwise, like the old wolf used to say, 
when they say, oh, we got him now, I still got a little bit of wolf in me. And I don't mind barking. And if you back me up in the corner, I'll bite. And if I latch hold to you, I ain't gonna let go. Even if you say you had enough, because this time, it shall be destroyed. It's a war cry. Word up. We got battles to fight. And if you right now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, you're important on your sin. Now is the time. That you heard his voice. And he's calling you right now. Don't be stubborn. Let it go. Come to him. Right where you are, you can come to him right now by lifting your hands and saying, Lord, I surrender. I surrender all. Forgive me of my sins. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, I'm trying to do better. I want to be better. And I know you're fighting every day, but he said, he said, he says, he said, that sin I will remember no more. He said, I'll wash it away. I'll forgive you. And look what he said. He even give you his spirit. But you got to maintain that spirit also with the freedom that you have by taking your freedom and submitting yourself upon a man or woman of God who's going to teach you the truth. And the whole truth ain't nothing but the truth. Who gonna tell it to you whether you like it or not? Who's gonna tell you, brother, I love you, sister, I love you, but that thing you in is sin. And that is what's separating you. Come on, somebody. Not from his love. Because it didn't separate. It didn't separate us from the love of God. But it will separate you from that connection eternal life with him. Get it back. You can get it back. Don't let the devil fool you. You can get it back. He's to tell you today, you can get it back. I don't care how much problem you got. Don't be calling folks. Call Jesus. Go down on your knees. Get up. Pick, 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 pick the Bible up. Go to Colossians chapter number three we just came from. They say what? Making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Singing songs and making melody in your heart unto the Lord with thanksgiving in your heart. You go to him. He's the only one that can deal with your stressful situation. He's the only one that can deal with you and the problem that you're going through. Because what people will tell you, they'll tell you what you want to hear. That'll make you feel good. Because there's something that the Lord will allow the man or the woman or the servant of God to tell you that's going to hurt you before it heals you. And whatever hurts you, come on somebody, it ain't going to wipe you out, it's just going to hurt you. So you can know that you got a pain. And you can know that that pain that you got, that the same one hurt you with, it can heal you. Be careful of people who hurt you who can't heal you. I got to know. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me all my sins. Create me a clean heart. Do a right spirit within me. I repent, Lord. Give me all my sin. Give me a clean heart. I mean, do a right spirit within me. And right that instant, right that moment, he's doing it. He's doing it right now. Now, this is what I want you to understand that I can see that what others, others have seen and know about. Right now, because of the confession of your faith, with your mouth and believing in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead and you said when that's your Lord and Savior, there was a party going on right now. And can you imagine that there may be there may be more than just one or two or three. Even here right now, I know somebody's being saved right now. I mean being saved as far right now. Somebody's coming right now to Jesus right here in this ministry right now that know him, love him, and the Lord saved him, but in a backslidden state. And he said, I don't care what condition that you were in when you came or when you, when you heard this word. But when you heard that word, I want you to understand that I heard your cry. And I know the one that can help you. And if you have prayed that prayer and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you're in the body of Christ. 
As you prayed that prayer, say, Lord, I, I want to be, I want to be reconciled back to you. Uh, forgive me my sin and create me a clean heart and set me back. He said, Come on, I'm married to you anyway. I ain't never got the divorce paper settled. Only time that the divorce paper settled when you absent and dead. Don't let your, don't die unmarried. <laughs> Attached to the groom. Lord have mercy. So my brothers and sisters, we thank God. As we give it to take communion, the Bible said on this first Sunday, I heard the word of God say that on the night that Jesus Christ was betrayed, he said that he, he took bread. He blessed it. He broke it. He blessed it. He said, this is my body which has been broken for you. He said, take it. You all there. And remember yourself, me. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I thank you. And then the Bible said that in the same night, he took the cup. And he said, this cup is a representative of my blood of the New Testament. Drink ye all of it in remembrance of me. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your saving grace. And the first Sunday of remembering who you are and what you have done for us. Oh, we are grateful. We have a gratitude of gratitude saying hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. What you have done for us is doing and will do. Let the blood continue to cover us. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you now. Now, Heavenly Father, as we come to the close of this service, thank you for being with us, Holy Spirit. Thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank you for the word that's already gone out. The message that it may be heard. The sound of the trumpet that this ministry, this bishop, has sounded along. That the cause of those, that the ears of those that heard the call, and join you with me, that we may claim the victory. Hallelujah. And I heard you say it this morning, Pastor, reclaim. I have went a further above that. And I've attached the ED on it, as it already been reclaimed. In this family, in your family, in this ministry, in your ministry, and in your life. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit so ever rest root in the body and our heart this day, and for now and forevermore. All the people of God say amen. God bless you. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. For joining us once again on this first Sunday of the new year. God bless you. We hope that you'll continue. Amen. To join us with us and be with us. Amen. Throughout the year, if the Lord's will. And we will be with you and praying for you. Amen. And so we thank God for you hearing the wall cry. Amen. Or the battle cry on this afternoon. God bless you. Amen. And you can join me. Amen. Join us again. Amen. On Tuesday night. Amen. Praise God with the honorable, amen, uh, Minister um, Dwayne Blackwell will be, amen, bringing forth the word on that Tuesday night Bible study. And then you can join me, amen, praise God, at the spiritual lunchbox, amen, on this, amen, Wednesday at 12 o'clock, amen. We will be cooking up something special. As a matter of fact, the recipe is going to be so good, you probably won't be able to eat it. 
Amen. But you will know it's there. Amen. Because of the consecration. Amen. That uh, we have joined force with. Amen. And then, amen. Praise God. Amen. If you're not doing anything, amen, this afternoon at 3 p.m., amen. Praise God. You can join, amen, the prophet. Prophet Dr. Jerome O'Rod, amen, at 3 p.m., amen, praise God, at Greater Grace Down Temple Church, amen, amen. What a powerful preaching and teaching, amen. You will not be disappointed. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you, amen, and we'll see you, amen. If the Lord's will, and if he rapture, we'll see you in glory. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. I love you all.